There we go. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So I know it can look crazy and weird, but you guys, the more you understand this comp plan, the better off you are because you can understand where you can make money. Um, we have 10 different ways to earn, to earn money with our, with our comp plan. And it was just, I just did a training on this in, on the live trainings um, a couple weeks ago with more detail, but there's three ways you earn on your own personal sales and seven ways you earn from building a team. Our comp plan is built and very rich and it's built to get you to enroll and to build leaders. That is where you can make a whole lot of money. You can control your own money with your own sales and you can make a lot of money from your own sales. But when you hear people making crazy amounts of money, that is the part of the comp plan that has that comes from those seven other ways. So Color Street really wants you and encourages you to take the most of the plan by building a team. Um, I'm not sure with that. Hang on. I'm trying. I'll, I'm trying to mute, but I can't get my window back open. I I can't. Uh, I can't see who that is. Okay. Um, you know. And, and Jackie's gonna go more into detail about this, but one way, let, let's just talk about one way. One way you can earn money or product credit is through jump starts. Um, and look at that, it, number one is regular jump starts, number four is enrolling jump starts. So by doing that, our company is giving us cash and um, product credits for getting your business off to a good start. So not only do we encourage you to do it for yourself, but we encourage you to bring other people on to make money from enrolling other people. And in order for them to hit jump starts, they are building, um, they're booking parties and they're enrolling people. We are giving them what, what I consider the launch to build a good business right from the very beginning and we're rewarding them for it. So we, in our comp plan, we have it, um, I guess weaved right in there for you to get stylists off to a really good start and build leadership right from the very beginning. We're, we're paying them cash to become a team leader in their first 95 days. So if you enroll, you hit your jump start, you become a team leader, you do the same with the people you're sponsoring, they become a team leader, you're automatically starting to take, care, take advantage of great parts of our comp plan. So they are they've entwined it to set you up for success through our comp plan with that jumpstart program. So never underestimate what that program does more than just the product credit. It doesn't just give you product credit. It gets those stylists off with, with parties, with talking to people about the business and with confidence. And that is what you really need. And like I said, she's going to go into that portion of it and how to make that stuff work. But I just want you really to, um, to see that with the comp plan. And then this page, of course, is all the different, all the different ways and the percentages and different levels. And again, I'm not gonna go into full detail about all that, but just know the further along you keep moving, the deeper you, your team will automatically get deeper and you will get paid on those deeper levels. All right, so understanding where the money is so you don't leave money just sitting there is really important but know that it is set up for people to do this type of behavior, which is getting off to a good start and building other people that um, are building leaders too. Okay, um, so that is our comp plan. Now when you, I'm gonna show you, oh gosh, um, okay. All right, so we also, if you look in resources, you guys, your, your comp plan is in the resources. Print it and always have it around you. It's in your Road to Success book. Print it and have, you know, you should, your Road to Success should always be somewhere near you. It's kind of like that Color Street Bible. It gives you little bits of all sorts of things. And it, I'm a print person. I need to see it printed. I like it right there. That I keep the comp plan near me any given time. I mean, it's always on my desk. Um, I just like having that. This income dis disclosure is um, also under resources. This 
is a great statement. We're not allowed to go out there and say, if you become a team leader, you will make this because it's not guaranteed, right? Everybody, it depends on how much your own volume is. It depends how many of those people you've enrolled. There's so many different things that go into it. So on this chart, they kind of give you what the average is and then what the bottom 25% are making and the top 25% at the different ranks. So that can kind of give you a ballpark of, hey, I think I want to hit director by September because I know I have college tuition coming up. And I know I can pay for X with the amount of money the average director is making. So this is a great way for you to kind of look at things or to be able to share things with people who are interested in the business and say, hey, look, this is kind of what the average person is making um, monthly and yearly. Again, you could always succeed it and you might go under it. It just depends. All right. But that's an average. We are not allowed to say, go out on our, on our social media and say, join Color Street and you'll be making, you know, $2,000 in your first 90, 95 days. We don't know that. So we're not allowed to do that, but we can give kind of this average. This is what we can share with people. And don't go post this. Again, don't go post the average team leader makes this month. Again, this is kind of for our user to share with people interested. I would not be doing stuff like that on social media. Um, we can get into, that can get to be hairy if you do that. Um, okay, so something I think everybody should know is how to understand, if you wanna start building a team, you guys have to understand how we're set up, right? How you're hitting these different levels that are on the comp plan that can seem overwhelming. So we have bubble charts and they are, I posted them, we have them, they're in the Gold Crusher group under files, they're on your Trello board, if you have a Trello board, um, they're in all different places. Um, okay, can you guys see this? Is that showing my little Canva thing? Okay, mm -hmm. so let me see if I can enlarge it for you. Did that enlarge for you guys? I never know what it fully shares. Okay, all right, so let's look at Jenny. All right, so these bubble charts, basically what they're doing is they're taking what you guys have in your virtual office. I think those look like, to me, in the virtual office, they look like little phones. I always consider it like little, I don't know why. They look like little phones to me. Um, so this is laying it out. And the more you handwrite this and you understand who is going where, and you, when we first opened, we had to do this by hand. We did not have a computer to do this. So we had no choice. But it helped me learn who was on my team, what numbers they were doing. I had to plug it in. Every single month, I had to evaluate my team and where they were. And I knew the ins and outs a heck of a lot more than I know now that it's all done by the computer and you don't have to. I highly advise you doing this because it's going to show you where you need people and help you understand what you need to hit different ranks. So if you see up in the... Um, left hand corner there's different shapes and stuff for the different levels which you're only going to see right now senior stylist you'd see a bq stylist and a senior stylist but then as you go up and rank there'd be other shapes there too to the right it shows you what you need all right so understanding what the vocabulary and the abbreviations stand for to hit a senior stylist which some of you may already be there but some of you may not have anybody that you've sponsored yet and so this is what your first step would be, is to become that senior stylist. If you're in your first jump start, we encourage you to sponsor one person. Okay, that would be your first person that you need out of, out of senior stylist. In your, in your third jump start, your day 65 jump start, um, or I guess that would be your fourth jump start, we're encouraging you to have three stylists. So you automatically then, if everybody's working, you could become a senior stylist by that day 65 by hitting your jump starts, okay? Again, that's where that jump start program helps you build your team. Um, so you have Jenny up there who has sold 350. Oops, I did two Jennies, sorry. And she sponsored a Jenny who did 500 and Susie who did 310. Okay, so you're looking at, you have to have your own personal volume of $300. You guys, we always emphasize BQ and you have to understand the importance of BQ. BQ, if I were you, if you are looking into going leadership, into leadership, you never, ever, ever want to dream of selling less than $300, ever. Because one, that's how you can't get paid on a team if you don't sell $300, all right? So you 
right off the bat, if you form the habit of never selling less than 300, it's something that would never happen to you. So let's say you've been selling $75 a month for four months and all of a sudden somebody wants to sign up and, and be on your team and you're used to selling $75. You know how to do that. You know, you need to sell to maybe three different people. And now all of a sudden you need to go to 300 and you don't know what to do to get to 300. But if you've been doing that all along, then it's no big deal. You've already hit 300. Not to mention you're only making $75 if you're selling $300. So if you're looking to make money, it's only selling 70 or $300 is probably not the, the amount of money you're wanting to make every month, right? So we, we don't want people thinking less than 300 because it just makes sense. It, if you are working your business, you need to be selling $300. Our promotions are tagged into $300. But if you want to build a team, you want to be selling even more than that because you want to be leading by example. You want to be out there and you're having parties because that's how you're building a team. Again, Jackie will go into that. Okay, so you have to have your own personal volume is $300. You have to have two qualified legs. Again, a qualified leg means you're selling $300. So if you sign up Susie and Jenny and they don't sell anything, they're not a qualified leg, you guys. You will not be a senior stylist. Anybody who's a qualified leg has to be selling $300. So if Jenny doesn't sell $300 this month, you only have one qualified leg, all right? That's another reason if you get it instilled in your new stylist to never dream of less than 300, you automatically have those qualified legs. All right, you have to accumulate $2,000 in group volume. If you hit your jump start and you've already sold 1,000, you're already halfway there, all right? Um, so that's cumulative over the time it takes you to become a senior stylist. Then you have to, the month you hit, you have to sell $1,000 cumulative between the three of you. So at senior stylist, you have to sell $1,000 between three of you. I already know if we were just hitting BQ, we'd only be at $900. So right there alone, only BQing does not get me the amount of volume I need to be a senior stylist. And that number gets bigger and bigger and bigger the higher you get. If people were just selling $300, nobody would be hitting their ranks and getting paid at their ranks. So again, that's why we want people and ourselves doing even more than $300. All right, so let's look at, so that is your first level right there. And so if you print these charts every month and put your name in with anybody you've sponsored, and you have it by your desk, you know what you need to do. You're watching their numbers, you're watching yourself, yourself, and then you wanna print the next one too. Fill yourself into a team leader and go, ooh, this is my next dream and my next step, what am I missing, okay? So let's go over to this senior stylist right here. I wanna show you guys this, because this can be one confusing part about um, the graphical trees. So let's say Jenny there, now I have her at Amy. Sorry, I didn't mean to have Jenny twice last time. I was copying and pasting. So Jenny has 350, Susie has 310. Amy, she couldn't get any orders in because everything was out of stock. So Amy only has 50 bucks in. But Betty, who Amy sponsored, has $420 in. The way our comp plan is awesome, you guys, is Right now, you have two legs. When we talk about you have to have two or three legs, a leg is anybody that is direct to you. Susie is one leg, Amy is one leg. Betty is not your leg, okay? Betty runs in Amy's leg. They're all in the same leg. So if Betty sells $400, the computer is gonna compute and go down to Betty and pull her up and count her as your bonus qualified leg for the month. So if Amy, who's direct to you, she's your, your leg, your Amy leg, we call her, she didn't hit, the computer will find somebody in Amy's leg that sold that $300 and count them. Does that make sense? Everyone understand that? Because I know that can be one of the trickiest parts. All right. And we're just going to look at a team leader here because I want to show you guys this and then we'll move on past the bubble chart part. Okay, so now maybe you're senior stylist already and you're dreaming of that team leader spot. Oh my gosh, I want to be a team leader. Okay, I'm Jenny. I have my 350. I have Susie. I have Carol. I need to now have 5,000 cumulative. We need to do 2,500 this month. We can totally do it. 
I need to have right. one of my girls be and a He student. doesn't wear <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, but whoever's giggling, can you mute yourself? Um, I'm not seeing any boxes lit up. Um, okay, so we're looking at Amy. Amy is my senior stylist. She has Betty and Kelly. I'm so excited. She's gonna she's gonna promote to senior stylist. I'm gonna get to team leader. This is awesome. Oh no, Betty decided not to sell this month. That means Amy is not gonna be a senior stylist. But again, the computer is gonna look how many legs, how many bonus qual or how many legs do I have? I have leg one, Susie, leg two, Carol, leg three is, is Amy. Amy is not going to be a senior stylist, but I look down at Amy's leg and I see Kelly. Oh my gosh, Kelly is Helen and Kendra and they killed it this month. And Kelly is going to be a senior stylist this month. Well, the computer will count Kelly as your senior stylist in Amy's leg. So just like it will pull up a bonus qualified person, it will also pull up the highest ranking person in your leg, even if they aren't direct to you. Okay? But, and this might be even a little bit, but let me just say this and then I'll get off the bubble charts. If Amy doesn't, if Amy doesn't um, qualify as a senior stylist, she doesn't count as a leg for you and Kelly count as a leg. You can only ever get one thing out of that leg, whether it's a BQ stylist, a senior stylist, only one type, one thing can come up out of Amy's leg. All right. So, for example, if Kelly didn't BQ and Amy didn't BQ, Helen and Kendra do not count as two separate legs for you. They can only ever count as one because they're coming out of Amy's leg. Does that make sense? I'm not seeing any like holy cow faces. All right, so I'm, I just wanna say one more time about bubble charts. I want you guys to fill these out. It will help you understand those types of things and and sometimes looking on the computer can can it just doesn't help you as much i think learning your learning where you are and where people are i think if you handwrite it it puts it more into your brain and gets you to see it better okay so that is on our bubble chart so everybody who is wanting to promote needs to be printing them for your current status and what your next status up is and filling them out at the beginning of every month and you're changing them throughout the month by changing the numbers as people go. And it's, it's actually really fun. It's kind of like a little puzzle and I like puzzles. Okay, so learn what you need, you guys. Um, all right, and I, oh, okay. So I'm gonna unshare. I think I went through all my stuff. Let me go back. Okay, so then the last thing I'm gonna talk about before Jackie talks about is just benefits of leadership, you guys. When you become a team leader, we have a lot of benefits. Um, when you become a team leader, we have a beautifully polished leader group you get to be put in. We have um, leader calls where we learn from each other. We have, well, we were supposed to have leader training at the end of this month for our team, but now with this, we are not. But we do separate leader training sometimes with like Sherry McAllister spoke to just the leaders last month. Um, Color Street Conference, leaders get to hop in there. And originally when it was in person, they got to come in early to be able to go to a leadership training. Since we're not, um, there will be a um, Facebook or a live training for team leaders. A great goal to set for yourself to be able to be in that training group where you're around like-minded people. That's another thing to emphasize to you guys too. Hang out with the people and beautifully polished who wanna be leaders too, because they're the people who are gonna give you the correct mindset that you wanna be around. Don't be around, if you wanna become a leader, don't hang out with a person who is griping every day that they can't get their product, right? That they don't care about what's going on. You want to be around the person who wants what you want because you want the person who's gonna build you up and not bring you down. Okay, so hang out. That Goal Crusher group is a group of people who want more for their business. That's who you want to be around. You want to post in there, hey, I'm trying this because, you know, I'm at a loss. What should I do for this? You're not going to get someone in there that's going to say, I'm at a loss too. This stinks. I can't go online. You're going to get the person that says, hey, try this. I want to do this. And they're going to bring you up. That's who we want to be around. Okay, 
So great goal to get on that conference, um, the leadership conference this summer. Um, you get to have what we call strategic placing. Strategic placing, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of details about it, but what it means is when you bring somebody on yourself, if I enroll somebody myself, I can take that person. I always tell people, I have a huge team and it's really hard for me to work to, to for one person have just me. I want them to have somebody else to work with. I want them to be able to go to a regional meeting and sit by somebody else other than just me. Um, so I can take that person and place them with somebody else on my team who I know will help work with them too. So now they have at least two leaders um, or two people that can mm -hmm. work with them. Um, it can help people, it can help um, someone on your team who's working really hard and they sponsored somebody and now maybe you're gonna place this other person with them and help them become a senior stylist. How cool is that? So there's a lot of great features with um, placement that can help your team grow and give that person a sense of more than, um, you know, working with more people. Um, we also get at team leader company leads. If somebody goes in, types in a zip code, they're looking for somebody in the area, if you're a team leader, between team leader and senior director, you will get that lead funneled to you based on your sales and the local person in the area based on sales and that rank. So that's a really, another, I've had a couple of people sign up because of company leads. Um, I don't get them anymore. At one point they took them away from executives and up so we could really focus on helping team leader and to senior, team leader, director and senior director grow their businesses. Um, but it's another great benefit of being a leader in the business. Um, so those are just a few ideas. So now I'm gonna to backtrack to what I said about um, how our comp plan really is set up to help you guys build leaders. And Jackie's gonna talk about different parts of how you would achieve Jumpstart and the different things that lead to your business that help lead you to the rich parts of that comp plan. I was more the nuts and bolts. All right, go ahead, Jackie. Oh, yay. Hi, everybody. I'm super excited to be here. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing that bubble information. And how kind is she to give me the, the most fun part? Like I get to tell you guys a story and help you um, identify your goals to get to your dreams. Okay, so I'm gonna take about one minute here to share my story real quick. I was a super busy mom who loved pretty nails and I went to the salon to escape my boy crazy life. They were so busy, hockey, basketball, sports, everything sports. And I was working full time and I went to the salon to feel pretty. However, as the boys got older, their bills got bigger. Their injuries became more often. My medical bills as a teacher, I mean, my medical insurance was declining. The boys would get hurt. I couldn't pay for their, I, I couldn't, I could not not use my credit card. Um, or my washing machine would break because we were washing their hockey equipment. Holy crap, I didn't have the money to pay for a new machine and we would have to go days without washing our clothes. It was humiliating. Saturday morning, I would get sick to my stomach because I knew as a teacher, the job I loved to do was not paying my bills and it made me sick. And my husband and I would have like, stressful moments where I knew we weren't going to like get along or it was going to be stressful and it was going to like my weekend was going to freaking suck because I was going to start it off with how am I going to balance balance my checkbook so I was literally trying to think as a teacher where am I going to get my extra income and I was really thinking am I going to go to Walmart I'm going to be a greeter at Walmart to make some extra money because my bills are getting too high. I couldn't pay for a roof if it leaked. So the other part of my story though, is that I was starting to feel very sick to my stomach going to the salon. I felt like, gosh, you know, I worked so hard. I'm a great mom. I'm a great teacher. I'm a great everything, right? We all try to be our best, but going to the salon was making me feel super guilty because I was taking money out of our family budget and I was sick to my stomach knowing that every Saturday morning, part of that stress was because I wanted to have pretty nails. So in 2017, I will never forget soaking off my salon nails and going to work with naked nails. 
I was sitting there thinking, oh my God, I can do this. I have naked nails right now just because I want to let them breathe tonight. I can't wait to do them again. It feels so weird. But I remember going to work and thinking, oh gosh, I want to be that person that people are proud to have like me be their um, advocate for their child at work. And I wanted to look like I was put together. And I just didn't feel that way without my nail polish. So that week, it was the weirdest situation where I went to our state capitol and I was in a rally. That's where my girlfriend put these nail polish strips on. Changed my life, solved my salon problem. I could now hit pretty nails, go to work with confidence and no longer feel like I was um, dipping into the family budget and digging us into deeper debt. So I bought the kit. I bought the kit just to have pretty nails. And I was like, woo, this is freaking awesome. So then I went to the work and the girls were like, hey, you guys, or Jackie, what is that? What is that? We want some. And I'm like, you guys, it's this nail polish product. It's not even open yet. Like you can't, don't mention it on Facebook. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> so then they said, this one girl I'll never forget, do you do parties? And I'm like, thinking, hell no, that is the last thing I want to do on earth. I do know what is a party. I will never be that girl selling something at a living room. I pitied those girls. Never in a million years did I ever want to do a party. I'm like, yeah, I do parties. And I was like, what just came out of my mouth? I cannot believe I just said that. So that's my story. I went to Big B Coffee. We had six girls at the coffee table. I whipped out catalogs and, and samples. And we had fun. It felt good. They were laughing. They were feeling pretty. They could, I couldn't believe like their mouth. You know, I'm not telling you guys anything you don't already know or you wouldn't be here. But when I found out that I could make $75 not standing at Walmart greeting people, I was like, I get to make $75 with women and have fun and help them feel pretty too. That's when I started paying attention to Jumpstart. That's when I was like, oh. I, okay, I, and so I used Jumpstart as my runway to fly. And if you haven't earned Jumpstart, I'm gonna welcome you today to relaunch. You get to relaunch your business today. So your Jumpstart and your circle of excellence are corporate's way to say, we love you, we support you, and we are going to reward you for doing your job. And I'm going to tell you a secret. $1,000 a month is the new BQ. If you want leadership and you want the amazing benefits, friendships, opportunities, and income, work to sell $1,000 a month minimum. And I really don't mean just your VIP page. I mean BQ every week. <laughs> Okay, 300 in your first month, 600 by your second month. I mean, I'm sorry, week. 900 by your third week and 1200 by your fourth week. That's jumpstart. That's circle of excellence. And when you enroll two people in a month and you're selling 1200 in a month, girls, you're gonna be a national executive. Because when you learn how to do that consistently, month after month after month, that's the secret sauce. When you can jumpstart every month, you know how to build a business because you've done it consistently. Is it, is it simple? No. It's simple, not easy. Okay. So I worked on my jumpstart. I built, I had, um, I had terrible nail bars. They were awful. I had nail bars that didn't qualify. I had nail bars where the cotton ball wrecked the ladies dining room table. It was horrific, but there was something in me that just felt like, I know I'm in the right place because this business is ground floor. This business has an amazing product and it's changing people's lives. So I would pick myself back up. I would dust myself off and I would do it again. So if you only have one nail bar on your calendar, or if you have none, I'm going to encourage you to get two on your calendar 
between, be, between now and the end of May. So give yourself a break this week because we're not going to restock this week until Thursday, okay? So give yourself a break. But in the meantime, work on creating your Frank list. I encourage you to use your Frank list, friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, kid contacts, and write down five names under each of those social groups. And you'll have a list of 25 people that you can reach out to this week to book a nail bar. And the crazy thing is, it's all virtual now. I was literally driving. I was driving hours to people's houses, holding a party, driving back home, unpacking, packing my car. Oh my gosh, I can squeeze in so many nail bars now. I'm doing two to three a week. Last week I did three. This week I have two and I will continue to work on getting two every single week. And you can just plan on which night you want to do that. And when you learn how to do that and you learn how to play a booking game, and you get three nail bars from each one of those parties because you've played a booking game and you've offered the business to the hostess because you've identified what it is she likes or what it is that she did good at and you offer that business to her and every party guest, you're going to get people to want to do what you do. And that's truly the secret sauce. Um, Okay, so then I think Deb wanted me to talk about like how I got there, right? So that's how I started. I looked at my jump start and I work every single month at jump starting. Me personally, I want to jump start. I want to have eight nail bars a week, I mean a month, because I want two a week. I want to sell at least 1200 a month and I want to enroll two stylists a month. How do I do that? Nail bars, because then I'm in front of new people every week. So here is the formula for your growth. So everybody write this down. 10, 8, 2. And I'll write that in the chat group. 10, 8, 2. I can type it in, Jackie. The other numbers okay, that you'll have, do next. Yeah. Okay. I wrote that formula. You can just explain what it means. Okay. Okay. So 10, 8, 2. That means... And this is, you guys, this is not for everybody. This is for the dreamers. And it's for everyone that's in this group here. So this means if you want explosive, quick growth, and you want to have a group of like a, a team of 200 people in two years, you're going to follow this formula, 1082. That means book 10 parties to hold eight because two are going to cancel. So book 10 to hold eight and enroll two new stylists a month. That is going to help you explode and build a team quickly. That formula worked for me. That formula worked for Dina Doyle. That formula worked for Amanda Rebecca. I'm looking at names here. I don't mean to leave anybody out, but you guys, I'm talking about girls that are um, at executive level, working full time with kids in several sports, and they've managed two nail bars a week and enrolled two people a month. Okay, so that's explosive growth. Now let's say you say, oh, all right, I'm not sure if I wanna bite off a chunk that big yet. That's okay. We just wanna give you the runway. We wanna give you the secret and you do with it what you want. Now, if you wanna go slow it down a little bit, you can book eight to hold six and then roll 1.5 new stylists a month. And I'll repeat that. For growth, you want to book eight because two will cancel to hold six. You want six parties a month and you want to enroll 1.5 new stylists to your team, your personal team a month. Now you're going to think, how do you enroll one and a half people in a month? It's an average. It's 18 people a year. It's one and a half. Okay. 
Um, and then if you want to maintain your current rank, maintaining your rank is one nail bar a week and one new person. So that would be book six to maintain your rank, two may cancel, so it's hold four, to en and enroll one. Now you might be thinking, well, how am I gonna just maintain my rank if I'm enrolling every month? If I'm enrolling one new stylist a month, I'm growing. You're not gonna be growing if you only enroll one a month because many people leave our business. So I don't know if you've ever heard of 30, the 30, 30, 30 rule, I think it's called. Um, 30, let's pretend like you had a team of 100. Okay, or 10, let's just say 10, because I've got 10 fingers here. So we have 10 people. If I'm enrolling, or wait, 30 come in. How do I do this? All right, 30 come in. I didn't plan this, can you tell? 30 people will, or three people will come in, three will stay, and three will leave. So like 90%. So every single cycle, every single month is a cycle with direct sales. It's not your talent. It's not your lack of talent. It's truly a numbers game. 30% of the people come into your team every month. 30% will stay and 30% will leave. So if we're not enrolling, 30% are not coming in and 30% are leaving. So if you had 10 people, you're down to three. Or if you had 100, you're down to 30 if you're not enrolling consistently. Okay. All right. Um, let me look at my notes here. What am I missing? 10, 8, 2. I think I got it all. Does anyone have questions before we move into the really uh, the productive pr priority part? I know that was a lot of information and it was mind blowing, but you guys, I remember sitting at our first conference. It was Detroit, Michigan, August of 2017. I had been in the business for two months. I was booking two nail bars a week and I was enrolling two, two people a month. And our trainer was Sherry McAllister. She was our corporate trainer at our first conference. And when she gave us the, the, the formula for explosive growth, my chin fell to the ground because I was like, oh my God, she's explaining what I just did in the last two months. So I was only a brand new director at the time. That means four people, I had enrolled four people at least to be a director. And when I heard that, I was like, what? So here is what I did. <laughs> get the book. If you don't have the book and you haven't read the book, get over your damn self. Get that book. It is amazing. That was, the author is a, uh, she was an attorney who went to direct selling and she said, basically in a nutshell, ask anyone who will eat dirt for you to hold a nail bar and do it scared and unprepared. And I was like, I'm running. If I only need eight people or if I only need to enroll eight people to be at the top of the company, you only need eight legs to be at the top. I freaking started running. I was like, I'm booking nail bars and I'm enrolling people. Eight legs, you guys. That's all you need to be a national executive. Eight right. legs. Remember though, Jackie, like that that's deceiving. Like four strong teams. Yeah, teams is a better four strong you know, teams you and four more than eight people. Yeah, and four BQ legs. So if you look at your compensation plan summary, you're a stylist, then you're a senior stylist, team leader. Director. Once you're at director, you qualify for incentive trips or have in the past unless they change it. Then your senior director, executive director, senior executive director, top of the company national. Book them. Okay. I'm open for, I'm open for questions. Jackie, can I say something before I share productive priorities? Yeah. 
Okay, so you guys, I've, I taught with Jackie for a number of years, even before I became a mom, my first teaching job long ago. And um, I'm so proud because Jackie, as she's sharing all this, I'm thinking to myself, I remember when Jackie came home from that 2017 national conference, we went out to dinner. And this is before I joined, of course. And she was sharing, and it was three of us who were out to dinner. And she was called up on stage as our number one seller out of all of Color Street. And she was on that stage two months in after using this formula and booking those parties and doing all that she just shared. She was our number one seller out of all of Color Street and was on stage at that national conference in 2017. And uh, she was in our catalog. So you know those catalogs that they send us? She had her picture in that catalog. So I always feel super proud as a friend from long ago. Um, and then I joined her team af after that conversation. I was like, what? And so everything she's sharing is, is proof, and it is proven. And even though I've been on these calls and I've listened to this a million times, I still take notes and listen in and think like, yeah, yeah. It, it motivates me, and it keeps me fired up. So thank you, J-Mac. Thank you, Dina. I'm embarrassed, but thank you. Super proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. We're Thanks lucky. Everybody. We're so lucky to have such great leaders on this team. Um, so any questions before we share a little bit? We're, it, this is going to be very, very quick. Okay. So again, I'm Dina Doyle, and I'm one of your teammates, and I'm really excited to uh, have so many people on an afternoon call like this. This is really awesome. And they really do say those who show up go up, learners are earners. So Big time thumbs up to all of you. Okay, so I'm gonna share a bit about productive priorities. We are all so busy, and a lot of times when I first heard this, I thought of myself um, in my classroom as a high school teacher. I remember when I was working on my master's degree, one of the things they shared with us was productive priorities as a teacher. And they said to us, don't spend your prep hour wiping down the boards and straightening up your rows. You've got to use that time to reach out to parents of students who are struggling to do some sort of, you know, your planning, your lesson planning, and, and use that time wisely. So then when I started Color Street with zero direct sales experience, that resonated and I remembered that, um, that lecture about using your time wisely. And that's what a productive priority is. We're all so busy, we're all balancing so many other things. So how do we work smarter, not harder? What do we do? And there are five productive priorities if you wanna jot these down. Um, the first productive priority is booking parties. And, and Jackie and Debbie talked a lot about the importance of booking parties. And um, I find, I also like to have two Facebook, like right now we're just doing Facebook. I used to be an in-person nail party uh, person. That was my favorite, but I'm really loving the Facebook parties and I feel fortunate that we have this free platform of social media. So I do two a week, uh, you know, just depending on how things go, maybe it's one a week, but I definitely always start with booking 10 and I hold those eight and I try to make them two a week. Um, so if you can spend a half hour of a week on booking parties, um, you know, if you have that calendar time set aside and you're reaching out to your hostesses, your past hostesses, I always look at my customers. Who buys all the time? Who even buys the buy six get to? Like I know those people love Color Street and I know they're probably gonna wanna, you know, get these for free. Uh, they might have friends who've been noticing their nails and complimenting and so that's kind of like my segue i also look at when i'm booking parties who is commenting and interacting on my vip nail page if they're posting nail fees if they're interacting they are opening the door for me uh, to book parties with them so that's my number one uh, productive priority and then also jackie mentioned the frank list you'll definitely want to use your frank list especially if you're new and maybe you haven't had, you don't have a lot of the former hostesses like some of us do. That Frank list is always a great resource. And then number two, a uh, host coaching. Hostess coaching is huge. I remember when I first joined, 
I was kind of embarrassed to ask, like, what does hostess coaching mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand what that means. And it's exactly what it sounds like. We're the stylist. We have a hostess who's going to host a Facebook party. Um, so I need to coach them up, you know, just like as if I were their coach or their teacher. I need to tell them exactly what to do. So if I spend once a week, at least, or, you know, kind of depending on the timing of their party, and I reach out to them, I voice text them, I send them a message through Facebook Messenger, I've sent them their hostess packet with, you know, a free pack and some twosies. The more I coach them, the better their parties tend to be. And the hostesses who show up are going to earn more. You know, so I really try to say to them, let's tag team. This will be so much fun with us working together. And I really try to pump them up and get them excited for their role in working with me for this Facebook party to be successful. The third productive priority is holding the parties. So we're going to book all those parties. Now we need to hold them. You know, we book 10 because we know two will cancel because life happens. So we're going to have eight to hold. So um, a lot of people are really organized with how they hold their parties. I know Amanda Rebecca always starts her parties on Tuesdays, and I think that's awesome. So she's always ready. If somebody books a party, she's like, okay, I'm going to start that on Tuesday. And so if you've got a night, you know, maybe you're – you have a night that's going to be like a good night to start. Like in your mind, you might think Thursday because Fridays tend to be paydays. And then the weekends, people have more time to look on their phones. Whatever day it is for you, you might want to start your parties on that day. You know, we're hearing all sorts of great tips on quick parties, you know, two, three days, doing a live, making it happen that way. But holding those parties is a really obviously probably the most important um, for your sales and for hitting that thousand dollars in that month. Okay, number four, and this is actually my favorite. I love recruiting. So recruiting is something that is going to be productive. It should definitely be a priority. It's definitely going to be an income generating priority as well. Um, I offer the business, the opportunity, the um, excitement about it all the time. I am not afraid, I am not hesitant, but when I first joined two and a half years ago, I never, ever offered this opportunity. I, I don't know why, I think I was a little bit nervous, I think I just wanted the sales, I just wanted PV, and I don't think it like really resonated, it didn't click with me. So we're trying to save you guys the time because I know a lot of us back two and a half years ago, we didn't do it as much, and I feel like, oh, I missed out on so many opportunities. So recruiting is huge. Since I started, I've always, always recruited to a month. Um, that's always been my goal. That's always been kind of where I feel like I could manage that because I could really help them get started. Um, I remember one month, I recruited eight. It was last year, it was January, and I was like, I, I, my mind was blown. I didn't even know what to do and how to do it. I always felt like two was very, very manageable, you know, two, three, you know, even four, but I always felt like two is really manageable. Um, and then setting aside 30 minutes a week to reach out, I reach out to hostesses. Um, I just heard a great number last week where they said to, in a Facebook party, you should be mentioning, uh, joining the opportunity recruitment five times within that party. I was only doing it once, um, and I was like, wow, five times? Okay. And so everybody who made a purchase, I would you know, mention it. I posted on it a few times, and when I did my live showing my demonstration, I talked about why I joined, and I would talk about, you know, like, you guys, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain, uh, to gain. And if you'll never know unless you try. Those are things that resonate with me. I tend to be um, a worrier, and I tend to be somebody who overthinks things. So I really needed people to say to me, why not? Give it a try. You know? And then I was like, yeah, that was my husband. He was the one who was like, you'll never know unless you try. You should do this. This is an amazing opportunity. And I kind of needed that gentle nudge. And I know as a teacher, we often need to give people, students, each other, a gentle nudge to show that we believe in them. So that's really big when I recruit. Um, 
I'm reading my notes. So no matter what, it's always good at any point in this company. We always take notes. We always have scripts. We always support each other that way too. Okay. Uh, also your best customers, the ones who post, the ones who post nail fees, the ones who even answer questions for others on the VIP page, the ones who post nail fees and have them labeled. Those are the people I reach out to and I, and kind of like what Jackie said, you're already doing it. You would be so good at this. Give it a few months. And if it's not for you, you can always go, go back to being one of my VIP customers and I'll still help you earn them for free. Um, and then also anybody who might be looking for a little extra cash. We don't, we don't always know their story. That's why it's important to always offer. Um, this is a very lucrative opportunity to get paid five times a month. And right now, people are working reduced hours. People are, you know, working from home. It's been a great distraction. Now's the perfect time. And so that is definitely something that we want to look at. And don't be afraid, even if you are brand new, your upline, all of us, will help you. We will help you and we will help your new enrollees. And we will help you every step of the way. Okay, and then number five, the fifth productive priority is coaching calls and supporting our new stylists. So a coaching call is kind of like, like this. Like this is kind of like a coaching call. Like we are supporting you. We are kind of coaching you up. And it's kind of like when you would touch base with your upline, uh, the person you signed up with or somebody on your upline once a month. And you do like a 15 minute coaching call where you are, you know, helping, supporting, answering questions and giving, you know, some guidance into promoting, you know, basically like what you're doing right here. Um, and then new stylists, I try to reach out to my new stylist once a week with a quick phone call, answering questions, touching base. Um, when a new stylist joins, we always have a let's get started. I love to walk them through the back office. You know, I mean, we all were new at one point and there's a lot um, coming at us with Facebook pages and emails and all sorts of information. But after a few weeks, you kind of get in your groove. It's like starting any new job. We've all been there. Um, but we're all in this together. And I, I mean, in the beginning, especially, we're texting and messaging our new stylist to make sure that they're feeling the support and that they know that we truly mean that you are not alone and we are in this together. We don't just say it. We really do practice it. So those are the five productive priorities. It's um, booking parties, hostess coaching, holding those nail bars. Number four is recruiting and number five is coaching calls. Those are the five. If you can focus on those and put them in your calendar. I'm somebody who uses my phone calendar and I set those weekly. Jackie is the queen of the planner. I just ordered a new planner last night on Amazon Prime. Um, and then everything else you have in there, you can fit in where it works for you. But they really remind us to focus on the income generating priorities. If I made graphics all day long, and just worked on organizing my Facebook page and deleting and that kind of stuff and adding, that's not going to be, I mean, that's not bad. That's definitely great to do to fit in, but that's not an income producing priority. You know, there are a lot of people who are sharing, you know, there are a lot of ta talents out there that people are offering. It's just like we're teaching. We don't create every new lesson. We share. And so we want everybody to use their time wisely and to focus on those five priorities. Any questions about any of those five or anything that you want to add? Any questions at all? I had a quick question regarding coaching calls and upline. Yes. So I'm a newer stylist. I've only been in a couple weeks and I oh, will awesome. be completely welcome. Thank you. I will be completely honest. I am like it's a little overwhelming. Like, okay, there's this call this time, this call this time, <laughs> yes. this thing group, that Facebook group. I totally get, obviously, the more communication with different people, the more we're going to retain and learn. Like if you had to say like, okay, these are the calls that I would highly recommend you're doing every week. Or I mean, like I have the calendar, but it's still overwhelming. And I work yeah. also. So I'm like, where, you know, like what should I prioritize? That's even such a great Facebook question. Groups. You know, there's so many different groups and it's like, okay, like, am I missing something? So that would be kind of my question. 
That's a great question. And, and we've heard that from others as well. When you're, when you're first starting, it's like, what should I do? What pages should I be on? And that type of thing. The definitely, without a doubt, 100% tonight, seven o'clock, the new stylist call that Debbie Bry does. One, absolutely. That one is fantastic. And that's really just a one-time call. Yeah. yeah. So, and, yeah. So anybody so who did points, it already, you don't have to get back on that one. But if you right, have yeah, I've done that one. one. Yeah, okay. I did it actually with Dina. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. So you you all that's a one time deal. Then once a month, the first Monday of the month, we do a team Zoom like this with our entire beautifully polished team of like 1400 of us. I mean, obviously not that many get on, but that's our beautifully polished team. We're Debbie Bry as our presidential founder. She organizes that. And then we all kind of hop in and, and share some different training and tips and tricks and recognition. It's awesome. And it connects you to the bigger picture and it really lets you see who's all on the team. I love those. And that's only once a month. Jack? Um, Jessica enrolled with me and I just wanted to share that we want for everybody, we want to be available 7 p.m. this Wednesday night for special training with Sherry McAllister. Sherry McAllister is coming into Beautifully Polished and she will be training our team at 7 p.m. on the fortune is in the follow-up. Yes. Um, Debbie and I paid for this call. She's a corporate trainer. She has helped build million dollar teams. Um, she's the one that I learned 1082 from. So this Wednesday, and Jess, you and I should talk weekly. I think every new stylist should talk individually with their sponsor for 30 minutes at least a week during your jumpstart period because your new stylist, you guys, they they don't they don't know what you know. So, you know, I, I had my first nail bar sucked. It, I had two people there. I didn't know how to host coach. I didn't know it didn't qualify for a party. So when they have poopy parties, it's our job to help work them through that. Okay. How many, did you have all social, uh, all age groups attend the party? No, everybody was 40. I'm like, Oh, well, that's why I'm not enrolling because I didn't get any 20 or 30 year olds at the party. Um, those kinds of things. So it's really important when you have a new stylist to schedule that time with her on a weekly basis. And if you can repeat it at the same time, it kind of helps us get, keep that in the routine. Yes, that's a great point. And, and you might be thinking, well, I haven't talked to my upline once a week. And I would totally say, yes, we've had moments where sometimes we're some of us, we're texting our new stylists often. So you might feel like, well, we are in touch often and we do the Zooms and we are getting that support. But I, that's a goal of mine too. I, I do like the standing every Tuesday, we're going to talk and touch base. I mean, and, and sometimes our schedules change and we're all figuring out a new routine at home in that. So yeah, that's a great point, Jack. And um, we're, also, we're also just getting better as an executive team. I mean, Debbie's yeah. got this new call every Monday night. Um, we're holding Zoom calls. I'm hosting Zoom calls for new stylists every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. Then we have Tuesday trainings. So there's an opportunity for a new stylist to get trained often so that you can say, okay, I don't have to put out fires every single day. Right. I know I'm going to have that appointment on Thursday at 10 a.m. And then they can just keep questions, you know, kind of like in their journal or in their phone. I mean, texting is super easy and, and I, I welcome that too. Um, but I just feel like I have a sense of peace knowing that that yeah. new stylist has 30 minutes of my undivided time. Dar? Um, yeah, I just and wanted to say, um, Jessica, a lot of people have that problem when they first come on and there's a lot of different groups that we can be a part of. Um, one of the things that I tell my new stylist is that you focus on the, um, on the app and the training that's in the app. We also have the Beautifully Polished Stylist Training group that we have um, that was created before the um, corporate training was available. So there might be some repetitive information. But remember that all of these things are recorded. So you can go back and look at them. 
yeah. at a time when that's convenient for you. Yes. And one of the things that we all have to remember is that there are many different ways of doing things. And we just need to kind of like, when I sat at, um, at the conference or I think it was on the cruise, on the incentive cruise. And I sat and listened to everything that people were doing to be successful in their, in their job. And I was so overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, I cannot do all of that. There's no way. Newsflash. They're not doing all that. Right. Taking bits and pieces of what works for them. And, are, uh, you know, they, they take bits and pieces. What I had to do was take bits and pieces of what was working for them and work what I could work within my capabilities and my time frame. Yeah. So, um, and the best way to be organized with that is to calendar block. I can't say it enough. I, I have a happy planner. I know Jackie has hers all planned out. I have not planned my May because I was busy trying to get my taxes done. <laughs> and I finally got them all done. But I have a happy planner and this thing can actually, you can take pages out of it and add pages to it. There's project pages so that I can put my, my vendors event, vending event. Organization is key to keep kind of keeping it all together. And Debbie, can, Debbie um, sends out calendars every month that talks about the different calls that are on so that if you miss something, you can go back and look at it when you have time. Yes. Um, can uh, I, yeah, thank you, Dart. Okay. I'm just going to tell you guys too, that is a goal of mine. I wish I could say it was organized. I just ordered my planner last night and I'm I feel no matter what, like sometimes my personality is I will see what everyone else is doing and then I'll get down on myself and I'm like, I'm not doing enough. I should be doing this. I'm, you know, I, I need to be practicing what I'm preaching and I'm really and truly trying. And part of Color Street, the thing that I love is I am growing as a person. As a 46 year old, even though I've been teaching 18 years, I'm still growing and learning and bettering myself. And I am, I do not have it all figured out. I am not super organized. Um, and I'm really trying. So if you're feeling like that same way as me, you know, I just went on Amazon. I typed in planner. I, I just got, I just found whatever. And I got some sticky notes and my goal, it's coming tomorrow. My goal is to really give it an honest go. So that's what we're asking of you with, with all of this. And, and I, I love to see this because right now I'm fired up and this, I'm motivated. So I, I take what I can from my teammates and they're really, you know, anybody that you see, like Debbie said, hang out with the people that you aspire to be like, this builds me up and this makes me want to do better. So I don't have it all figured out. That's awesome. And, and the thing is, we all have different strengths. So that's yeah. why different leaders sharing. When you guys watch those videos, you may connect with the way somebody teaches better than somebody else because your personality type. And that's why we try to get different people in there teaching because we know everybody doesn't learn the same and do things the same. And I know J Jackie is not as technically savvy as Jen Sheets. And I know I'm somewhere in between the middle. Like I don't didn't know how to convert a PDF to a JPEG today. But we all know we all have strengths. Um, right. And I know enough just to be dangerous. Right? I just want to show you the different pages because Debbie mentioned that she uses the Happy Planner too. So I got the one and they have all these, these different things and the pages come right out. I have the one that has month at a glance and then it, that there's daily pages that you can get for it. So it actually has, you can get the ones that just have, you know, blanks so that you can put your daily schedule. And then they have a shorter version of that. Um, they also have one that's grocery list. So you can make your grocery list and you can kind of put that right in there with it. They have one that's an expense tracker. And I had the product, project one in here somewhere. They have note pages and they have project pages. And the project pages I use for um, events or things like that that I'm doing or, you know, if we're, we're doing something, oh, there it is. Project, it talks about the goals. And I try to keep track of like different things on my, about my vendor events. And they also just have like pages that say killing it. I love that one because it just reminds me to kill my day. Um, and, you know, some days, some months are better than others as far yeah. as organization for me. And I just 
try not to get down on myself because I know if I'm working, I'm moving forward. You know, I mean, the thing is not to stand still. Right. We can't, we can't advance if we're just standing still and not doing anything. Meredith, Meredith, you had your hand up. <laughs> yeah, I had, um, my first question was Jackie's uh, new stylist Zoom on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Is that different than, or how is that different than Debbie's Monday at seven? Good question. Um, good question. Yeah. So the first, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday call is how to navigate the back office and incorporate the let's get started information, building your Frank list, booking your nail bars, um, calendar blocking, all of that. Then Debbie's call on Monday at 7 p.m. Deb, do you want to talk about that? That's kind of like part two. Okay, right. My call goes through teaching them how to, um, like how much they're going to make based on an average nail bar. So we kind of go through the, the financial part. So they know how many nail bars they want to book according to how much, what an average nail bar is, how much they make from an av average nail bar, and how many they should book. Should they book one a week, two a week, three a week, based on what they want to make. And we, I have them write all the numbers down so they get a better... What I love to say is when you join Color Street, we're not paying you by the hour. We're not paying you a salary. So people, I think, get stuck and they don't even know what to do. They don't have any idea of how to make money, in a sense, because it's not just handed to them or told to them. We're used to being told. So if you can write down the numbers and get a ballpark, okay, so if I hold a nail bar a week, that's for a month. You know, I'll sell about this much and I'll make about this much. I think it helps guide them of then what they want to do with their business. Okay. I That's think it's a real thing. important one for them to get those numbers. And then the other thing I'm really excited about, um, I, a Facebook ad totally played into my need for nerd and organization, but it's called Direct Seller CEO. And mm. you buy a package and you can buy one design or you could do the premium and there's all these different categories of um pages to write your goals weekly planners a monthly plan sheet um like a, a monthly planner that's undated oh that's there. cute for all you virtual people see i'm not that technically savvy i need paper still <laughs> well, i love that though for all the people who love virtual that's a great that's a great thing to share. You actually, um, like you can print it out. Oh, you can? Yeah. So you, oh, like I print awesome. it out. And then like monthly contact page of like who you're going to contact each week. Um, you can write your business information, business income. There's all these different categories, a place for goals, um, marketing. Oh, so you do it on the computer, then you print it and put it in a binder? Yeah, so you oh. can either buy like one design or you can buy um, like the premium package and there's actually like training videos that come with it um, wow. that you can pick and choose what you want. Um, like leadership pages, planning meetings. I know there's like so many different templates. See, if you're in the Gold Crusher, if you come normally on a Monday, it's not this long. And those are the types of things like we share what we do in our VIP groups for the week. So that is a great call for just loosely sharing ideas like that. And um, I, every week I go away with something new that I can go try in my VIP group or with my customers. I'm going to schedule it. I'm going to schedule it right now. Who else wants to do it with me? Schedule at 1 o'clock, Gold Crusher, repeat weekly. In your calendar. And I you think know, it's, it's not something you have to be on every week. If you can make it once a month, it's yeah. totally fine. It's totally casual conversation um, to help people with their business, to share ideas. Have so that. Meredith, we'll totally share that next week in Gold Crushers. And then I'll also put the Zoom number in there too in my calendar. Whenever I do repeat um, alerts in my calendar, like Tuesday training, under my event in my calendar, I also write the Zoom number so I don't have to go digging for it. Yeah. I think you can, in Zoom, I think you can have it synced to your phone calendar. 
Yeah, you can. Mine. I wish I could. I can't figure out how to do it, Meredith. You can call me later. Meredith, do you have Calendly? Do I have Cal what? Calendly? No. Okay. I was, thinking, I was thinking that's why you had that linked, but mine are all linked, those three Calendly, where people can make appointments. And then um, I got, and then it's linked with my calendar and my Zoom. So if I if someone books an appointment, they the Zoom goes into Calendly and then it goes into my into my um, my Zoom and my calendar. So that's kind of cool. That's all. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. I know we've kept you on so long. This has been an hour and a half. I totally appreciate your patience because that's a long call. I did get these delivered to me for my son's friend in the middle of our call. Oh, so cute for Mother's Day. He brought them over. That's super sweet. That was a nice little delivery. I want to go get flowers out of my, my yard. Um, so you guys, I really hope this helped you guys. I hope that, I, I, and Jack, you hang on one second, then you can add whatever you want to add. I hope that, um, you know, again, the, the more you participate, the more you teach yourself, the more you come to us, um, of course, the more you're going to get out of the business, right? So um, please reach out to us. And, you know, we love when new leaders join our group. It's so much fun. We love working with, with each other. We have a great leadership group that we would welcome any one of you to be a part of. So thank you for taking this time. So just taking this time shows us that you guys definitely um, are interested in, in more in your business. Jackie or Dar, you have anything you want to add? I have three quick announcements. Yeah. Um, right in your calendar for sh Wednesday night, if you didn't, 7 p.m. Yeah, we got to post that, Jackie. I know. Sherry McAllister. Um, Dreaming in Color opportunity event tonight. Sandra Newman is presenting at 7 p.m. In, uh, in Dreaming in Color. You're all welcome. And I'm getting messages. People are excited and fired up from Colby's Live. I know. So right My phone has been going crazy. I even... Yeah, I, I cannot wait to watch it. So go into yeah. the official Color Street Stylist group as soon as we're done and listen to Colby's updates. It's going to be all about what they plan for re, uh, restocks. It's going to be great. I listened to a little bit of it when you guys were talking about stuff I kind of figured I knew a little bit so about. You, in <laughs> other words, you were not listening to us, Dar. No, I wasn't. Sorry. See, that's, the, I mean. Do you have some nuggets, Dar? Give, give us something. Multitasking. Um, so they are going to do, uh, he thinks they're going to do staggered ordering um, and they're working on getting a timeout for the cart, like 10 minute timeout. And of course there were people on there saying, I don't think 10 minutes is long enough, but if 10, if they can't get it done in 10 minutes, um, they need to give somebody else a chance to do it. <laughs> That's my thought. <laughs> well, and if, um, they're stag if they're staggering ordering, the problem is before yeah, yeah. They, you couldn't get through, but if, if it's staggered and certain people are ordering, then... Yeah, I think, um, he showed time. he showed the production machine, and I uh, the 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 new packing machine. I think that that's up, but I think they're testing it. Um, was somebody in a neck brace? Someone messaged me. I couldn't tell if they were saying Colby or Mr. Park. Looked like no, they he were had a neck. mask around his face. He had a mask around his oh. neck. Oh, <laughs> he was getting ready to put it up, and he was having trouble with his. Okay ear pods when he first got on so okay that, that was a lot of the conversation but there's a lot of good stuff in there i gotta go back and watch it so oh, I, I turned him off so i could listen Things to you will get better everybody and yeah you know what call, I just you're not letting the small things get to you yeah i just want to say this when when i was very very and i put this in beautifully polished i was very very frustrated at the end of when at the before the weekend um because I knew that restocks would not happen over the weekend and it was another day of continually getting messages all day long. I just had to walk away. I can, I really, really wanted to just throw my phone at my computer because I just, I couldn't like, I couldn't focus on trying to restock myself because I've been doing a lot of restocking for my team, our team. Uh, you know, I've had people from Beautifully Polished messaging me and saying, Hey, do you have da -da 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 -da? But um, it was very, very frustrating and it's very, very frustrating for everyone across the board, not just us. It's very frustrating for corporate. And then I saw Mr. Park's note and I thought, oh my gosh, this is like a week of us having to deal with this. 
And I cannot imagine if he would have given up. Right. Seriously. And that Ray Higdon video, Jackie, yeah, that you really posted, good. I love that. I, I posted that in my group and I posted that in our, our opportunity group for, for our team. And um, I, we just have to remember that he did not give up. And if he had You've not- seen the big picture. Yes. That's the most important thing. This is this much time in the big picture. This is another bump for him. Yeah. Because yeah. this has been 30 years in the making for him. Yeah. You know, can you and imagine- that's where a leader's mind work. is, don't you think? A leader's mind, like, I know this is a pain in the butt right now, but I see what it's, I know what it's going to be like over here. So it's worth it for me to get, I'm going to get through this because I want to be over there again. So I mean, that's yeah. where- and we are seeing, we're seeing like things starting to open up and you know this is gonna get better it, and it's gonna happen soon you know i mean we just have to be patient and you know like we are still the diamonds in the industry right now we are we are super yeah. lucky we are so lucky to have a product that is in such high demand and everyone's working from home it's, yeah it's crazy and we're we're just gonna get creative you guys i've had a tough yeah. tough month we all have but i'm not quitting i see the i've got the vision just like you do and i am so proud of all of you debbie thank you for um providing us this platform yeah, yeah. Us all here and yeah. we need to remember too that you know while we have that perspective and we're we've heard his story many times our new people haven't so share his story with people so that they can see what he has persevered so that our new people don't lose hope they don't they don't feel like, well, this was supposed to be fun, but it's not. Well, nothing right. is fun right now, guys. Right. right. Lisa right? Marie has had her hand up. Did you want to say something, Lisa Marie? Um, so I just got on the last week. I want to say Monday was my first week. But I'm not sure exactly. Well, I hopped on right when everything was out. I haven't got my kit <laughs> yet. So I'm still because you are going to be one of the strong ones. Like, yes, I joined, except there's no product. Nothing to sell. <laughs> I'm kind of using that as a tool of, hey, that's why it's so hot. And as soon as everything gets settled down, it's going to be great. But um, should I still be continuing getting more parties going or things like that? Because, I mean, how are, how are you going to start a party when there's no product if I can't even get product for mine? So do you continue doing that? Yeah, go ahead, Jackie. <laughs> I'm a party queen and I will not give up. So I do have a party this Thursday. I had three last week. I have two this week. For a new person, I, I'm, I'm suggesting that you maybe do a live mystery sale this weekend with the product you have coming, perhaps. Um, so you, you'll have 13 sets get it. coming, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can, you can post those in your VIP group and do a mystery set sale um, so that they pay $15 ahead of time and they don't know which one they're going to get. You oh, can, cool. Yeah. And you can ask your upline if they have any links. Um, I don't know whose team you're on, but whoever you enroll. Era. I'm sure that they have an idea, a link where you can look up how to do a mystery set sale. I would, I personally would work on um, getting like, a, I hate to tell you to buy stock, but I'm going to say I whatever, did buy stock. whatever you can handle doing, like if you could get two buy three, get one freeze of Tokyo. Well, we can't do two. We have a limit, but if you, it was can, two of each. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you personally can handle purchasing and then create maybe a Google form or a jot form. I I've not technology technically inclined, but I was taking pictures of my stock and posting That's those. What I did. It all got sold. I mean, even That's though kind of what I did with the product that I got is I ordered, I placed the order because a lot of people weren't getting on and they are still working. A lot of my customers that I'm getting right now. So I did place that order and they were able to, I don't know, I got them all sold already because I posted the picture and they were able to comment under the picture, which one they're going to want me to drop off once it comes in. Yeah, if yeah. they're new to Color Street as your new customers, they're not going to know any different to what you have to offer to what they could get. Right. And you've got your two-week extension. So I would work on doing, you know, getting stuff on Thursday, get what stock you can. Um, 
reaching out and booking parties for that third and fourth week in May. Yes. Because your third and fourth week in May are going to give you your June business. Yeah. And those, it's going to get better. The, I would think by Thursday, the ordering is going to get better, hopefully. You'll have more of an idea. And then, if nothing else, if you get your order Thursday, they'll be able to start ordering from the ones you ordered. So that's, I should be getting it on Thursday, my kit and what I had ordered the last week. Oh, and it just no, no, no. The new, we can order product again on Thursday. Gotcha. Okay. You go can go to your back office, Lisa, and see when your kit was shipped and look at the tracking on it so you can know when it's coming. And well, I, I would, saw that they sent that email out that everything that was from 5-1 and on are getting sent, shipped out today. I don't know. Or I, this they're working on kits. Kits kit are you? Yeah, I was going to say, they yeah. usually get kits out quicker than stock. Click on orders and then, or hover over orders and click on your orders. Yep. And then if, you did your, if you did your supply as a customer, it would be under customer orders. I did a Google form, Lisa, for my party last week. And mm -hmm. I did like a wish list. So I just had them put the first name, last name, contact. Oh. And then I um, just put a PDF of all the nail strips. So then I went, as soon as I got my kit, like, hey, I have this available, I can ship out now. And then when I have been able to reorder, try and get what they're asking for or suggest something else instead. It's so like my party last week, there was no stock to order. Mm -hmm. With what I had or is coming, I was over to, able to do over $200 in sales. Great. And I'm just going to place an order when I can under her open party so she'll get those hostess rewards. Uh -huh. The wish list has been like key for me, people filling that out. And Love let that. me make this recommendation for this time right now. If you have multiple hostesses, since they cannot, since you're doing the ordering for them, I would almost keep, if you can keep track, it, depending how many parties and if you can keep track of which orders are to who, but you can order through the same link to keep that getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that way, like if two hostesses have two $200 parties combined, it's going to be a $400 party. It's going to boost it up in percentage that you're going to get back. And then you might be able to get, just have everything sent to you, divvy it out to them. And then you might be able to get a little bit of extra because instead of them each getting one at half off and one at 15% or 15% and one at half off, if you combine it, now you're at three at half off and, and um, $45 or um, I'm sorry, you're at the 15% before they were at 10%. So you might be able to get a little extra free as well. So give them what they earn, but then you can, and that's only because if you're keep, if you're going to continue placing the orders, otherwise it gets too confusing. But if you're doing it like, orders constantly do it through the same link and then give them their stuff after because yeah. you'll be able I'm at, to reap some benefits i'm at 287 right now right. Um, the, oh. so 300 is the minimum i try to ever get any link because it goes up to the 15 percent in the 45 and the three and a half off so if if like just keep ordering through that same link i don't care if it's for you or for a hostess keep ordering through yeah. the same link because if you can get up to a thousand, imagine that you'll have 25% back and 13 at half off. And then you send out your hostesses, their stuff, and you're going to be able to build up inventory for yourself too. I definitely have a lot of people interested. It's just the matter of everything taken off for me to get right. there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's going to be better. Who did you say? Did you say? I'm sorry, what was that? Who was your sponsor? Uh, Tara Paul. I don't recognize that she's name. Under, she's under Andrea and Dina. Okay. Well, okay. you can count on some of those folks for some stock too if they have it. And Amanda yeah. Rebecca. I don't. Right, I know there's someone. Bad. This has been going so long, but I guess yeah, I gotta get. I gotta get yeah. going. But um, well, thank you. you're welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining in. Exciting. I you guys next week. Yeah. All right. Bye, ladies. Bye. See ya. See ya.